Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to... The Domain! Very good. You joined myself, Simon, and my girlfriend, Peggy, today. We got a brand new studio set up, and we're recording a very special video indeed. Whoa! The Covenant Energy Sword from Mega Constructs 2020 Halo Infinite line. This thing looks like an absolute beast, and when I got it in the mail, Peggy said she really wanted to help build it. I think at the time she didn't realize she was signing up for a full video, and we're gonna build it today. We're gonna do a time lapse with some commentary here and there on how we think the build is going. Apparently this thing has got some weight to it. You can really swing it back and forth. I'm very excited. I mean, without further ado, let's get on with the build. Pull it apart! I'm like... This is a promotional code for Halo Infinite, so it'll get me some free swag. Beautiful, look at that. That just looks awesome. Look how all of them are different. None of them are the same. When we joined the Covenant, we took an oath on the blood of our fathers, on the blood of our sons. All right, bag number one and two done. It's pretty cool. It kind of looks like the Bat logo, you know? That's, that's not bad. So we're gonna do progress reports every time we finish some bags. Now we got three and four, so we've not got any more blue yet, so I guess we're still just building up to that. I'm such a fan of this blue gloss. Isn't it cool? The way it's glassed over, so no piece is the same. I love it. I guess what we're gonna do is we'll build all of the handle first, and then we'll build the actual sword, then maybe the base at the end. We also have both Halo Infinite and Energy Sword in this really cool silver gloss effect. I love that. I mean, let's get on with the show. Bag number three and four. The thing with this set is there are so many ways that you can go wrong. Look at these guys. They face different ways. Some are jagged, some are not. And then even these ones have sort of a lower dip and a higher dip. There's a lot of ways you can make mistakes, so definitely you need to be organized and like smart up on this. Don't just like start rummaging through pieces. You gotta sort everything, be organized. And Peggy's over there making all the progress. That looks really cool, that looks really cool. The great journey waits for no one, brother. Not even you. Hold it like this. Wow, that looks insane. That's so cool. It's beautifully, beautifully rounded off. All right, we've finished bag number three and four, and this is definitely an energy sword handle. No doubt about it. This looks perfect. It's actually surprised me that there's nothing on this side. It's actually bare but maybe they'll fill it in later, I'm not quite sure. In general, I can't wait to see the big blue like streaks of energy come straight off this. I don't know if they'll fill this in, but we are on to bag number five and six, and it's only blue from here on out. And also, it just feels like it's perfectly scaled. This feels like it fits my hand perfectly. Maybe it would be quite a bit bigger to fit an Elite's hand or a Spartan's, but for mine, that's pretty spot on. That's really nice, very snug. Ergonomic, would you say? I don't know, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. Let's get on with bags number five and six. What is that place? The start of the great journey. I must get inside. Then mount up, Arbiter. I know a way to break those doors. Immediately, you know, these pieces, they tell us that we're in for a treat. Look at that glassed effect. Every single one is completely unique. It's like they melted some plastic all the way through the pieces. It's wild how different all of them are. And I couldn't think of anything better to show this off with than an energy sword. I mean, an energy sword is literally just energy pulsing through it. The fact that all these pieces look different is perfect for an energy sword. We have always been your protectors. These are trying times for all of us. It's just a lot of blue. It's going pretty fast. Also, just another shout out to the organization of these bags. It speeds up the build like tenfold when you just know that the pieces in front of you are for like the upcoming stages. Snap that in. Wow. That's a sword, baby. Okay, we're bulking this guy out, adding even more 3D elements and some more pieces running around the outside. What would you have your arbiter do? 
Bag number seven time. It surprises me that we're on another bag, considering, you know, we got so many pieces left. That sword is looking pretty incredible. Peggy has a, a, a frequent problem getting the pieces to snap together. He was indeed my enemy, but in time, I named him ally, even friend. All the way up. This is one half of the energy sword. Energy, I guess, the energy in the sword. It's gonna clip in somewhere there, making a really long sword. It doesn't say, but I guess we've just got to do the exact same thing twice. We'll go back to the beginning, do all that again. Group ships, staggered line, shipmaster. They outnumber us three to one. Then it is an even fight. It's always satisfying when you've done one big stage once. The second time you do it, you are way faster. We're storming through this. Masters of the sword. There is only one thing left to do, but sword fight. Quite robust, quite robust. You know, they're holding to, all right, calm down, <laughs> steady on. And this is the big moment. We've got our main base and we're gonna clip them in. One clicked in, two. Whoa. There's a few tiny parts of this that are a bit loose, but I hope that when we build the rest of the structure, it sort of locks into place more securely. Let's continue. Now this is an energy sword. It's locked together, it feels really strong. I can shake it, I'm not gonna do much because I don't think it's complete yet. Girl power. I didn't realize that was part of the build, a transparent bar that just sort of really holds it together. Make sure no added pressure pulls these apart. That is it for the sword. Now it's time to build the display. We have a base now, and Peggy, why don't you do the honors? Mount the sword, and then we're finished. Whoa, the Halo Infinite Energy Sword. Whoa, what a beast. It's quite large. It was honestly quite an easy build. There were no real issues. Unfortunately, there is one piece that's wrong. They sent us a left-sided piece instead of a right. So we'll uh, order that part replacement, no problem. That's actually a really nifty holster. Whoa, whoa, I feel uh, a little scared doing this. It feels really strong. I think before I give it a real strength test, I'll really force all the pieces together, make sure there's nothing going on. <laughs> We're gonna have a review coming out pretty soon after this video. In general, my first impressions, spectacular. I think this is <laughs> razzle dazzle. This is a beautiful build. Especially the thing that stands out to me the most is the way that all pieces have a different glassed effect. It looks like there's energy crackling through it. There's nothing else left to do except crown this king of the diorama, king of the display. Ha <laughs> ha. This was another video with The Domain. Thank you very much for tuning in today. Thank you to my co-host Peggy and the energy sword is signing off.